David Raya is definitely uh, the top two keepers in the league. For me, Edison has completely dropped off. Raya is a great keeper, but he also has a luxury of playing behind the best defense in the league. David De Gea literally bagging us like top four spots yeah. season after season. Like we did not deserve it. Arsenal had a bogey team in Aston Villa that they were facing and I mean they did from just purely from the scoreline they were pretty comfortable uh, but I yeah. also like want to highlight that one interesting save that David Raya made like a sort of a mini double save like the crossbar and then the reaction after that do you feel that he is already an elite level goalkeeper already or do you think he's one of the best in the Premier League AJ give your opinions come on let let I think no, no I I will definitely I am pessimist generally whenever it comes to Arsenal and optimist in terms of every other club except for united but i think david raya is definitely uh, the top two keepers in the league and i i genuinely have i believe that all of these you know talks about alisson going and like they are buying this mad whatever the georgian dude whatever uh, sorry can't say mamad dashvili yes that and uh, so so i think if if alisson drops off a little bit he might just have a shout to be the best keeper in the league by the end of the season and i preface that by saying that edison has dropped off for me edison has completely dropped off i've seen a few of his pre-season games i think last season not playing because of being injured has gotten to his head and ortega doing a little too well plus also it might just be complacency of like you know just winning everything and doing it repeatedly and then just not having the motivation to go go at it again or it might just be that he's rusty but at least from the sample size that we have from the season edison is not the same keeper that he was last season or maybe like a couple of seasons ago and i think the only thing david raya was missing in my opinion last season was the highlight everybody pulls up you know oh he made this save he made that save blah 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 and he's like oh this is what he could do because those are tangible those are some things that you can show like if you make a highlight reel of him collecting balls from crosses that doesn't have the same impact even though it's in my opinion it might it, it for our, for our game style it's much more impactful <laughs> but it doesn't have the same thing to it but if you show a save like that you'd be like dude this is this is some keeper and this is the second game he made a save and like he made a save at 0-0 against Wolves oh no no at, at 1-0 against Wolves where he just saved the ball from a point blank header so I think this is the season where people actually acknowledge the fact that he is a great keeper and once he gets those 24 clean sheets that he needs for breaking the 15 goal record I think he'll be one of the best ever keepers in the Premier League history but like just to be a devil's advocate there I think Rai is a great keeper but he also has a luxury of playing behind the best defense in the league so was better check not a great keeper he had terry and carvalho sure he was It's a great the same keeper so argument. So Same yeah, yeah. so my argument is that you don't have a top keeper without a top defense. So sure, Raya is a great keeper, but like for a keeper to be truly good and to be considered elite in the game, they more often than not tend to play in a defense that is itself very solid. You look at Van der Sar, you look at Petr Cech, you look at Buffon. Like all these keepers, they are elite level keepers, but they also had that backline, and their job was more often than not just being solid. You know, making those one-off saves once in a while, but they should. not concede goals that should not be given in the first place they have to be like you know that veil of assurance behind the defense that okay this guy is there he'll he'll take care of the thing in case the defense falls so i think that itself if raya can achieve that level of a status he uh, highlights really in my opinion is fine but i don't think it's really needed for an elite level keeper it's more of you know having that assurance having that quality between the stick and you see ederson you see alisson these again they play for very good defenses in front of they know that their job is just keep the ball out of the net be clinical and that's it and if raya can do that avoid those mistakes that we saw one of one or two in the last season i think then i would be very confident in saying that okay david raya is elite but i would not say that right i want to give him some time i think he has potential yeah. i think he can do it but yeah completely agree but again as i said it, it's all about highlight reels i think a lot of people and i i generally go back a lot on narrative because i feel like given our the age that we live in a lot of these players and their media agencies and fabrizios of the world all around on the football sphere just to build narratives and at the end of the day these players we read narratives and then it affects some there are very few players who are not affected by narrative most of the people are affected by narratives and i think when i say highlight reel of, of, of course i mean highlight reel only comes from clutch save like you remember that one where edison he edison city playing against liverpool and edison was he almost touched the ball like he took a touch the ball was going in and he was still calm and collected and he passed it even yeah. though sadio mane or salah one of 
those guys were like literally on that's that's kind of a situation where it's not like they were leading four nil and he did it for the sake of winning it's because of how good he is and he, how much he believed in himself and i think that's what will come to raya this season where he has done two games two clean sheets that he has earned i'm not saying he's we might have still won the game without with conceding those goals but two clean sheets that he has definitely earned and that kind of elevates the confidence of their defense in the keeper plus his his own confidence in himself that you know yeah this is not only a training ground practice i can do it in for a club like arsenal at the biggest of stages when you're going for the title in front of a large crowd so i think that's what will propel him to be recognized as one of the as i said alison it's very difficult to eclipse alison but definitely top 2 and it also helps the team to be like more adventurous take more risks knowing yeah. that like you know raya can also pull off all stops in like one we want to situations right like if they know that their keeper can do it said we know right like we've seen our defense being shut and like david de gea literally bagging us like top four spots yeah. season after season like we did not deserve it but like you know he got us there like there were games where like we went to anfield and like he saved 25 shots or some shit like it's just ridiculous as a team the other 10 people watching your keeper making those kind of saves just helps you be calms your nerves a little bit like yeah. when you're yeah. like you know taking risks especially with Arsenal the phase that they are in right now as a team they need to be taking lot more risks to break down teams because teams will like be very compact very like annoying against Arsenal and it's going to take a lot lot more patience and adventure to like break these teams down and it only helps that like Raya is finding his feet like making some hollywood saves uh, yeah. <laughs> and you know it just helps it just helps um, it also puts it's also put some doubt in the attacking players mind like whoever is coming up against raya next right in one on one situation they'll be i'm not saying they'll fluff their shot or anything i'm just saying they'll be a little bit more compensatory with their shots they'll be like oh we need to put it a little bit more into the corner or like we need to be a little bit more precise with the shot and we have to be a little bit more accurate and that kind of something plays for the keeper because no no you have that aura about you that you know that you it's very difficult to get past you and they because they overcompensate they end up missing off more often yeah. scoring so that also mm-hmm. comes into play and that happens with every every keeper in the world i think most of alisson's shot saves yeah. are because of him being alisson on top of his qualities obviously yeah and i mean the best way if... for a striker to score is without thinking i feel like it should be a reactionary yeah. shot in, yeah. like how you saw haland score that goal yesterday yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like take a shot and that's it so yeah sorry and that is the reason why i feel we can't win the league because we have all the people in the world who just think like our <laughs> oh, data is drilled so much <laughs> thinking into the system yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just in the overthinking bro in, including the fans bro yeah, including bro. the <laughs> <laughs> including the fans yeah, including like us. they overthink all the situations so Top much so <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow they win the league the uh, aj will be thinking ah, this must be a dream like someone wake me up i will i will go back to sleep for sure i'll <laughs> definitely sleep for <laughs> yeah oh god but yeah i think him and uh, a moment of joy right last game crossard best 12th man in the league oh, in wow. my opinion. Dude, I've been uh, waxing lyricals about like Trossard okay. because oof, what a guy dude. Like I've, the, I can first, first I can touch. totally there are five or six instances where he literally bailed you out. Like there are yeah. like he's yeah. the super sub of super subs. Like yeah. just he's the best. Every time you guys can't find the solutions Arteta Trossard. just like looks at that man and yeah. this guy, you know the reputation that he came to came with to Arsenal like that he was not a team player he was he's arrogant like, yeah. and stuff like yeah. that he's everything but that yeah. like he's always used as a super sub never complains literally saliva was like do this do this do this yeah. and he did that you know what i mean so bro so but like cute. what a what a celebration <laughs> like what a celebration right it's and what is that lack of yeah yeah like he was like he, completely he, cold about right yeah. he was like he's like yeah that's me. now you put <laughs> me on the bench yeah he's he's probably like making a point to art and it's nice yeah, to see it's right? great. like yeah 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 it's just like are you still trusting martinelli over me like i can do yeah. this in like 5 minutes like bro, what, I, what the first touch of the game right <laughs> but said yeah. i love saliba bro <laughs> like the whole thing in that whole 5 second clip saliba is like dude, this is edging him on <laughs> edging him on yeah <laughs> Like bro, dude, bro, such a such a <laughs> hype machine, bro. You should should see Saliba on all our goals. Yeah. Like he is the happiest. Like yeah. he's doing random things. Such a hypester. Yeah, love it. It's absolutely it's love a- it. Also your youngest nice... player right sorry he's also your youngest player according to party right yeah. <laughs> he's still a youngster <laughs> he'll have a breakthrough season yeah party, and it's almost party and... bro It's a, it's it's a nice place for the squad to be because uh, I feel like there is so much harmony within the Arsenal squad. It's uh, painful as a rival fan, but like it's it 
the only problem to your life is a city bro and i feel bad for you for that reason i think like... the only problem to be honest <laughs> when i say i don't think we'll win the league is because i think we just need an extra body i think we can't trust there are there are people in this squad that we just cannot trust we cannot trust tommy asu not because of his qualities but because of his injuries and for that we have a cover now like you know calafiori i'm not counting timber he's there he's definitely a great player he's there but because he's coming back from a such a big injury so he might have some niggles here and there so that's given but we have like five six able bodies plus we mm-hmm. have tommy asu so whenever tommy asu plays he'll be a great addition thomas party very injury prone he will always get injured like just before the big match so for that we have cover now but we just don't have cover for hisus like these players don't even play and get injured dude like they're training and they get injured they have the best like arteta is like uh, he he seems to be in the best physical shape that i've ever seen him and then he gets injured without playing like what 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 the hell like what what are you made of so again for all his qualities the biggest quality is availability and and i think jesus likes that a lot so i am on the point of a breaking point with him like you know hmm. we need somebody can't yeah. can't sustain it with him and now uh, eddie is going to stay back so more more joy for <laughs> aj extractor <laughs> we will we'll, we'll unpack that in the next pod 